What does your red nails reveal about your health? 10 signs you need to see a physician. Nails can be the window to your health because they can reveal so much about what is going on inside your body. Number one, psoriatic arthritis. Psoriatic arthritis is a type of inflammatory arthritis that occurs in some people with psoriasis. An early sign of this condition is when the skin under the nail becomes seemingly reddish brown, leading to discoloration of the nail. Carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide poisoning occurs when carbon monoxide builds up in your bloodstream, replaces oxygen in your red blood cells, and causes serious tissue damage or even death. The nails of carbon monoxide victims tend to exhibit a light, faint red color. And if the victim expires, the fingernails change to a darker and bluish red color due to the cell's anaerobic metabolism, resaturation of hemoglobin, and shift in oxygen binding affinity in the low temperatures known as cherry red discoloration. Heart disease refers to various types of conditions that can affect heart function. Red lines under your nails, medically named splinter hemorrhage, as the line often resembles a splinter stuck under the nail, can be a sign of heart disease. This nail presentation tends to have accompanying symptoms such as high fever and a weak or irregular heartbeat. Seeing these lines outside of a nail injury warrants evaluation by your physician. Lupus. Lupus is a lifelong disorder of the immune system where cells attack the body's own healthy tissues leading to inflammation and tissue damage. In lupus, the nails undergo several changes, but one such change is a rash or reddening of the skin around the nail, referred to as periungal erythema. Alopecia areata. Alopecia areata is a disease in which the immune system attacks the hair, leading to sudden hair loss in patients. While hair is the first thing that comes to mind when hearing this term, alopecia areata also affects the nails. The nails appear with red spots on the crescent-shaped white area on the base of the nail, long, known as the lanula. Amyloidosis. Amyloidosis is when the body produces abnormal levels of the protein amyloid. Nail changes may be the first sign of systemic amyloidosis. The abnormal level of amyloid protein deposits demonstrate amorphous red and purple spots in the nail bed. In nail matrix dermis and vessels, polarizing light examination under microscopy reveals apple green birefringence and Congo red staining confirming amyloid deposition. Diabetes mellitus. Diabetes mellitus is a disease in which the body's ability to produce or respond to the hormone insulin is impaired, resulting in abnormal metabolism of carbohydrates and elevated levels of glucose in the blood and urine. A slight bluish or red color at the bottom of the nail can be indicative of diabetes mellitus. Dermatomyositis. Dermatomyositis is an inflammatory disease caused by muscle weakness and skin rash. Dermatomyositis is associated with distinctive changes of the nails that include bluish red scaling lesions around the base of the nails, reddish shininess of the nail folds, an abnormal widening 
or dilation of capillaries of the nail beds, to name a few. Chronic Paranesia Chronic Paranesia is an infection that usually develops slowly, causing gradual swelling, tenderness, and redness of the skin around the nails. It can be due to a plethora of infections or chronic inflammatory conditions such as candida and eczema respectively, as well as a result of medication adverse effects. Cancer and cancer treatments. Certain types of cancer and cancer treatments can cause changes to the nails. These changes can occur in the nail bed or in the nail plate itself. These changes can be temporary or permanent. One such change is the changes in the color of the nails or nail beds, leading to discoloration of areas or overpigmentation of areas, making them darker than usual. In particular, lighter or darker red areas can be appreciated in the nail on observation. This is just a short list of red color changes that can be indicative of disease. There are others. As always, this list is not to be taken as a substitute for evaluation by your physician. As we encourage and command evaluation of all of our statements by your physician for direction of your health needs, as this is a platform of education and awareness to assist in the conversation with your physician. As always, thanks for watching.